Welcome back to the catch up here on Chris Cyborg's YouTube channel. I am James Lynch. She is Chris Cyborg. Chris, how are you this afternoon? I'm great, James. I'm very excited for my next chapter in my career and I'm happy, just training happy. Yes, I bet. And uh, we, we've got a lot to get into here. Uh, before we get into all the boxing stuff and everything else, uh, it is uh, the 13th year anniversary of your fight with Gina Carano. Can you believe it? August 16th. Um, you know, just uh, can you believe it's been that long, uh, you know, that you fought Gina? You know, I'm really happy to have the opportunity because me and Gina Karan did the biggest fight for the women at that moment. And we the first time a woman fight at the same time the men's, like five minutes round. And it's a, such a big deal, such a success that fight. I still hear some people, like some fighters call me, ah, you know, I was watching a fight with my parents. And they're like they are 30, 23 years old. They started watching fights for 10 years old. So it's nice how it's grow the sport. And it's nice to you know be part of the big, the big things I will really them to leave the sport for the global Zoom and the MMA, and I'm really happy. You know, I'm very excited. Today I signed some posters, and for have it, I think for the fans. But we have some plan. If you guys want to know a little about, follow me. You guys are gonna know. We got a, we got an opponent now for your boxing fight. Uh, of course, you broke yes. the news last week. We're really excited about this, Simone Silva. Uh, how familiar were were you with her as an opponent uh, before accepting the fight? No, she fought my sport, my my sparring partner, um, Maricela Cornejo. She's she's number one, one sixty pounds. No, the fight was a uh, decision, but you know, Maricela, she's number three in the world. She's a really tough girl. You know, she's Brazilian. She won Brazilian national championship two thousand seven. You know, uh, the promoter was looking for somebody like last fights, you know, four, three fights. But, you know, she's going to fight somebody to accept. And he went and talked to him. Uh, him talked to her. She said, oh, no, I accept. I want the fight. I think it was going to be a great fight in Brazil. And, you know, she's really fight for the sport to grow in Brazil. You know, it's it going to be a great opportunity. How important was it to fight an experienced opponent off the bat, someone that's established? You look at some of the names that she's fought, Amanda Serrano, Shelly Vincent, uh, your training partner who you just mentioned as well. She's got, I think, 300 rounds in the boxing ring so far. Like, how crucial is that? Because, you know, you could have taken a really easy fight and you've got a formidable opponent here. You know, it was my team would like somebody with three, four fights, you mm -hmm. know, but it was very hard to find and so people accept it. So when the promoter talked to me, oh, oh no, you have Simone, uh, she have a 40, almost 40 fights a professional, but she's willing to fight you. So for me, it was a great opportunity to go back and fight in Brazil. And I, I hope to do a great fight for, for everyone, you know, would like to, my followers and the people love my job. And September 25th is going to be a great fight. And the, who's here, whose fans would like to go Brazil, you know, Curitiba is a clean city, is a safe city if you'd like to go support me there talk to my team it's going to be a you no know, great opportunity to have a fun in brazil i know a lot of people are excited about the fight but i don't think people realize how big of a fight this is uh, to have it take place in brazil just give us an idea of what you know the anticipation is for this event because it's going to be massive over there in brazil like you mentioned you know in brazil it's going to be a big deal you know it's my city you know is where i grow up where i fought first time ufc was there it was like fifty thousand people there you know, um, I hope this fight uh, opened the door for more opportunity for the women boxing. Maybe the more promoters want to put the women's boxing fighting in the fans and they open the door for them. I think this is going to be amazing. How has this camp or how will this camp look different compared to some of your MMA fights? Obviously, boxing's, you know, limited in that you can only do striking. But, you know, just what, are there some things that are different uh, for this camp than, say, a typical fight uh, in MMA? You know, I still been training two, three times a day. You know, it's a lot of difference because I don't have wrestling, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, it's just boxing. I did some changes you know, in my trainings, but, you know, I, I, I put now condition, I swim in two. You know, I do a lot of work, so I do a lot of running. I want to do this, but I little, do a little more. I was, I have fun. It's very good, good, a lot of practice. And I, for sure, I'm going to grow up my boxing, going to get it better for sure this camp. Are you planning on bringing anyone in specifically for her as an opponent with the fact that it's a boxing fight? No, I'm just going to have my team just doing a no inside. Yeah, well, you keep winning, so you might as well uh, keep things how they are. And I'm sure people also want to know, when will you arrive to Brazil? Are you going to go there a little bit early or, or how, how soon will you head out there before the fight? No, I'm looking for to go 10 days before, you know, the event. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. And uh, do you know who will be in your corner yet? Who's going to be in the ring with you that night? 
And you know, I didn't ask for Master Rudy Mar Federico, you know, which is a is a founder of the Shooter Box Academy in Brazil. You know, was my one of my first coaches in Brazil, and I would like to invite him to be with me. It's gonna be, you know, uh, Shooter Box a legacy. You know, where I start is gonna be very nice. But I didn't talk to him, but probably him and Thomas can. And for sure, it's gonna have one guy for Cutman. It's gonna be helping me in this fight. Can we get an early prediction for this fight? How do you see it playing out uh, in the boxing ring? You know, I'm not sure. You know, I've been watching her fights. Sometimes she's coming aggressive. Sometimes she want to play, play boxing. You know, she's doing, you know, she tries to do boxing more. Um, I want to get some experience and feel the fight, the fight in 154 pounds. You know, it's going to be my first fight, first fight in my career fight this weight. And she have a lot of experience, you know. Uh, I don't want to predict the fight, but because it's my first boxing fight. But you know, I, I want to win. I'm gonna work really hard to do to do this, you know. And let's see if it, I want to win. If it got the will, I will win. Let's switch gears back to MMA. Obviously, there's still this talk about Kayla Harrison, Don Davis coming out last week, saying he's gonna offer you both a million dollars, which I'm a bit surprised by, Chris, because you've been the proven draw in MMA for a long time. I mean, you've been in the UFC, you've you know sold pay-per-views. Kayla doesn't have any of that. I, I'm not trying to discredit Kayla's skills, but there's no proof of her being a draw. Are you surprised they didn't offer more of a boxing split where you would get more of the money because you're the proven draw here? You know, I really don't know what go the offering there was online. Because I even talked to them, I didn't talk to PFL after the Twitter, anything. You know, I don't I, I don't like the way they want to try to do business for me, you know. I'm really happy in Bellator. I haven't been world champion 145 pounds for 13 years. And I already made the guarantee money he's offering. So yeah. I, th I think it's fun, you know, and I actually feel bad a little bit for Kayla. Okay, she getting paid good money, you know, and but her man did a bad contract. Because remember, she say, ah, I signed the deal to fight Chris in Hawaii, but it cannot happen. You know, it was because her contract. You know, I, I think her manager told her, okay, you're going to be free. You're free. But actually, she's no able to leave PFL to make the fight. So it's nice because PFL paid good money for her, you know, and he's being overpaid her. So I'm almost 40 years old, and I've been as the biggest name in the sport almost 20 years. So... Mm -hmm. I, I haven't won ever belt 145 pound in my career, ever belt in the in, in the sport. For this fight to happen, really, we're gonna have we're gonna have to be the most paid day in my career. And, and for happen, this have to be like 80-20, you know, uh, purse split. I don't know how it's gonna be working, but you know, if they wanna have this fight happen, it have to be this way. Yeah, and I think people got to realize this happens in boxing all the time. Tyson Fury, you know, he gets a bigger cut than, say, yeah. some of his opponents. It's just how things work because certain fighters draw better than others, right? I mean, if you look at this from a perspective like we just talked about, you've been in the sport for, you know, two decades. Uh, Kayla's just been in it for a few years. And again, it's nothing about Kayla's talent. It's yes, about the yes. fact that you've been a proven draw. So just, you know, we really want to get that across here. And um, how have you been dealing with the fans? Because obviously there's some who think that you don't want to fight Kayla. That's not the issue. I mean, you're, you're taking a boxing fight in a sport that you haven't even competed in so there's that and you look at who you fought Nunes all these other fighters so it's just like you know how do you deal with that because I'm sure there's fans who aren't educated and just assume that oh it's because you don't want to fight Kayla you know it's not just about money you know if mm -hmm. okay if she if she's want to really do this fight and the PFL is really pay good money for her if she wanted to fight man just accept it you know mm -hmm. um I've been fighting for a long time and I'm really happy where I'm at and I'm just saying, if you're going to be the money for, for the biggest money in my career, you know, and you can see the example of Amanda Nunes. Mm -hmm. When Amanda Nunes was the champion in, in UFC, she's making, when she fight Ronda Rousey, she make 100000 and when she beat Ronda, she's also champion, she make more 100000 She make 200000 And the Ronda Rousey lost, coming from the loss, she make $3 million guarantee for the fight. Yeah. So if you know, it's not just about uh, as if she want to really make this fight happen and make this difference. It's gonna for it happen. It's gonna be eighty to win split. You know, I'm yeah. the A side, and let's see. Yeah, that, that's actually a great example. I forgot that, that uh, that fight, I think people forget. Ronda got, like you said, $3 million, Amanda Nunes, not as much, but that's because Ronda was the proven draw, yes, right? Yes. So it, it, it's what, that's how it works. It's not just MMA or not just boxing. It also happens in MMA. But let's uh, end things here on the Portuguese saying of the week. We just talked about boxing. How would you say in Portuguese, let's watch a boxing fight? Vamos. Vamos. Assistir. 
Vamos Asoshi. Boxing. Boxing. Oh, so it is boxing. Okay. Yeah. Vamos Asoshi Boxing. Yes. Perfect. There we go. There we go. I'm not. I'm not. You're ready for my fight. You're ready. I'm just gonna say I'm not gonna miss your fight. That's uh, that's great. Um, before we get out of here, like we usually do, ChrisCyborg.com. We've got the technique videos. We've got the Q and A's. You can pay in Bitcoin. It's less than a cup of yes, coffee. Yes. Uh, and anything we got coming up for the premium service on ChrisCyborg.com. We know we're gonna have a soon uh, for this fight. We're gonna have a great videos. You know, everybody know we do Cyber Nation the week the fight. And if you don't know a little bit about me, it's gonna be great. And if you'd like to sponsor me for my next fight, my first boxing fight, send an email to chriscyborg.com. Uh, chriscyborg.com. You go to go to my Instagram. Anything is going to be amazing. I can represent your company. It's going to be amazing. Based opportunity. Thank my fans for all the support. I'm really happy and excited for this next journey. For sure. And just before we get out of here, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. This is the catch up. We do the show every single week for myself, for Chris Cyborg. Everyone has a great week and we'll talk to you soon.